Now, without doubt, over the years, I've found that the best way to learn how to retouch an image, say using Lightroom, is to just get in there and play with it. Play with the sliders to see what kind of combinations you can come up with to get the final result. But maybe better than that is actually looking at how other people have retouched their images, seeing how they've taken that kind of out of camera image all the way through the retouching steps to get that final print ready version. Now, the more I seem to speak to people, the more it seems that people are unaware of the Lightroom community, which is the place that you can look at other people's work and see every single step that they went through to get the final result. It is a fantastic way to learn how to use Lightroom. So that's what I wanna cover in this video. I wanna go through what the Lightroom community is and how you can use it, but also something extra that you can do, which is a great thing to share on social media. All right, so here I am then in Lightroom. Now, just so that you know, this uh, Lightroom community is for, available for every single person that uses Lightroom, no matter what platform you use, be it Lightroom, Lightroom Classic, Lightroom Mobile, Lightroom on the web. It's available for everybody. But if we look over in my Lightroom at the moment, which is what I'm using, over on the left-hand side here, I've got this option here where it says Community. And if I click on Profile, this here is kind of like my home page where I've uploaded... Uh, certain images so that people can see the retouching steps that I did. So you'll notice, look, as I go put my cursor over each image, you'll see that it'll jump back to the original. And when my cursor comes off, it'll go back to the edit. So there's the original, there's the edit. And every single image in here, it does that. As I see, you put my cursor over this one, over this one, and so on and so forth. Now you can see I've uploaded quite a few images into here. I quite like doing this. Um, but let me just click on one of them so you can actually see what this is all about. Let's just go down to, I don't know, let's go down to one of these images here. So this one here, look, it's had what's called 90, over 99 remixes. So a lot of remixes. I'll explain what those are in a minute. And 689 likes, which is kind of nice. And there you can see that there's the before and there's the after. But if I click on this image, what you're going to see over on the right-hand side, once the image loads in, is a description. Well, you've got a title, a description, and then all the settings here that were applied by me in Lightroom to get the finished result. So with these settings, what I can actually do is I can click through them, say, click on the top one, the as shot out of camera image just there. And I can click through each of these settings here to see what effect did they have on the image. But what I can also do is if I come over onto the image itself and then press down, what you'll start to see is like, like a, a time lapse, an animated time lapse going through each of the steps automatically, and you can sit back and watch what each of those steps did to the final image here. You can see what effect did they have on that image. So you'll see it'll click through all the way, all the way through every single step, including all the masking until we get to the final finished picture. So that's what we can do just there. So it's a great way to actually to stop that, just click back on the image as well. And I'm gonna scroll down and then we'll click on the very last step so that we see the final image just there. So that's a great way that you can look through the steps nice and slowly, each individual one, see, well, what did that do? How did that affect the image? And this is just a great way to see how we can combine certain sliders and settings within Lightroom to create a certain kind of look. Now, what you can also do here, you can see, look, it says save as preset. This is something that you can allow people to do. The actual settings that you apply to your image, you can allow or not, people to save them as a preset. You can also use this remix button. And what you'll notice is underneath here, we've got these thumbnails. And these are the versions of the out of camera image that I shot where other people have done their own retouches on it. And I'm gonna show you some of these, I'll show you how you do this in a short while. And it's quite interesting when you look at how some people interpret your image. Now these are just kind of like smart previews. They've not actually retouched your image. It's just like a smart preview they've done that on. Your image is obviously always safe just there. Uh, but let's have a look here then. So how do we do this? If I just come over to my normal images here, I'll come to my sort of recently recent edits. And let's say just this one. Let's go for this image just here. Let's just press P to get rid of the bit on the left-hand side. Give us a bit more room. And obviously, this is the final retouch version. But if I press the backslash key, I can then get to see the before image. So that's going to show me the out-of-camera shot. And then this is the final shot just here once I press backslash key again. Now, if I wanted to share this image up into the Lightroom community so that people could then look through the steps that I did 
in that particular retouch. The way I would do that in Lightroom is I would come to the top right hand corner here where we have this share icon, lots of different share options, and then the here look. We've got the share to community. And when you click on that, you'll then get to be able to put a title in, the description. It will look at the image and kind of give you what it thinks is the correct categories. You can obviously dive in and change those as well. And here are the toggles to turn it on and off, whether or not you want people to save them as a preset, or you just want people to say, to look through the settings to see, you know, what did you do? Um, I like to let people save it as a preset, that's fine. Uh, you can include or not the location information. And here's that little toggle there that allows people to remix the image where they can kind of try it out and see, well, how would they interpret the image? What would they do to it? To practice the kind of things that they've seen that you did. Uh, so that's that there. And once you've done it, you then click on share and up it would go. Now, if I go back again to where you got my port, my profile here, here's that image just there. And again, obviously when I click on it, it'll then load that in. And over on the right hand side, you'll see all the settings. And here are some of the remixes that I allowed people to do. But let's have a look at the actual community itself here. If I click on featured, these are images that other people, you know, there's thousands of people across you know, thousands of other Lightroom users are choosing to do this, which I think is a great thing when we can just share what we do and show how we're doing it. You can see here, when we click on the featured, again, the same thing happens. We put our cursor over it. You'll see a temporary before, and then it'll go back to the after, and then sort of before and after, which is kind of cool. That's a really good shot I saw here. I really like these two, this black and white street where he changes that scene just there. Love that. And I like this car shot here. Great edit on that. So you can see underneath it, this is the name of the person, the Lightroom user that's actually uploaded it. You can see it's had 29 remixes. There's no likes just yet, but I get a feeling there'll be quite a few appear on that one. But if I click on it, here, this is what you'd be presented with. So load of remixes that are done down the bottom, and here's the settings that they did. And again, just like I showed you with mine, if I click on it, click on the image there, look, there's the out-of-camera shot, and you'll see Lightroom here giving that animated time-lapse taking you through all the settings. But let's just click on the image again to stop it. I'll go down to the very last effect that was done so we can see that image there. There's also the info tab here where we can see the categories of this actual image, the metadata showing the camera and the lenses and the settings, and here also would be the location where you can see here that Leonardo has chosen not to share the location, which is an option that you can turn on and off. Copyright details, capture date, and when it was published. Uh, we then got the remix icon. We can like it. We can put a like on there as well. Click on the remix. And when I click on remix, this is what happens. Look, I'll click on remix. And all it does is it gives you like this smart preview here, original image, that I can now apply my settings to. I'm not affecting the original person's image. This is purely like a smart preview that's given so that I could just practice to play around with some of that stuff just there, which I think is a really cool thing to do. Uh, and we can click on Save as Preset. You can choose what parts of the actual retouching you want to save as a preset and give it a name and then save it. And then that would appear, if I come into my own images just here, let's go to Recent Edits, if I go to my presets, just over on the right hand side, you'd see it in this section here where it would say shared from, saved from community, just at the bottom down here. As you can see, I've got just a few that I've put into there. So that's that there. Now, if you are a uh, Lightroom Classic user, you don't have the button in the right hand corner there, top right hand corner to say share to community. So what you would do if you're a Lightroom Classic user, was when you've done your steps within Lightroom, you could then add that picture into a collection and sync that collection with Lightroom. Because then, I'm guessing that if you're a Lightroom Classic user, you probably do have Lightroom on your phone or on a tablet device. Then when you go to your tablet or your phone device, you'll be able to then upload to the community. So let me just show you that now on my phone here. So I'll just start a screen recording. Let's just let that kick in just there. All right, so now then look, if I jump over to my Lightroom, let's have a look here. Here's some of the portfolios that I've got. So let's just say that you added a uh, an image, a folder here, or, or just a single image. All you would do, let's say I wanted to upload this one. To, I thought it'd be nice to share this one in the community. Let's just get rid of those just there. You can see, look, we've got the share icon in the top right-hand side just there. And we've got your, at the bottom, it says share your edit process. If I tap on that, we've got two options. I'm going to come to this top one in a moment. But here, look, post to community. And there we're going to have exactly the same options as what I showed you on the Lightroom desktop version, where we put a title, a description, what categories, and we can choose whether or not to save as a preset, include location information, 
or allow the remix in. When you put all those details in, you'd then press the tick icon and up it would go and be available in your portfolio, your sorry, your profile page within the community. Actually, one thing about that, if I go to my profile page in the community just here, where we've got this share icon in the top right-hand corner, this here is the link that will take people through to your page where you've got all your images uploaded. So I won't click on mine, but if I just go to back into the featured section. Let's find that great car shot just there. And if I could click on Leonardo Oliveira here, that's gonna show me his page. And this is what it would appear like when you clicked on the link that they'd given you. So you can see here, these are all of the images that Leonardo has chosen to uh, upload into the community. But if you're on a tablet device, it's the same thing. So let me just get my iPad here and I'll do a screen recording on that as well just to show you where these things are. And then I want to show you that thing called Create Edit Replay, which is a great thing for sharing on social media. So here I am then in Lightroom on my iPad or like a tablet device. If I go down to, let's say, this folder of albums here, sorry, pictures here, click on that one just there. And you can see, look, again, in the top right-hand corner, the share icon, share your edit process, post to community, and there you go. So it's exactly the same thing whether you're doing it on Lightroom uh, desktop, if you like, uh, the mobile version, both on the phone or on the tablet device. But that's right. But that's everything to do with the community just there. Something I think is a, is a great resource for learning Lightroom. So, so good. And, and why not? You know, why not just share stuff like this? If you're a Lightroom Classic user and you've shared an image, once it's up on the community, you can unshare that catalog, that, sorry, that uh, collection that you've made there and get rid of it. That's then in the community for people to take a look at. Now, if you're a Lightroom Classic user and you don't have Lightroom on your phone or a tablet device, you can just go to your browser and go to lightroom.adobe.com. There you'll be on Lightroom on the web and you'll see your Lightroom. Over on the left-hand side, there'll be the album. So this is where the collection that you've synced with Lightroom would appear. So for example, if I just come down to say uh, this folder here, then you would click on the image that you want to share to the community. You'd go to the share icon in the top right-hand corner. And here you would see the option to post in community. Click on there, takes you through the same process, the same things to, uh, to add in, and just click on share. But the other thing I wanted to show you was this one. Let's just come out of there for a second. We'll leave that. And this is gonna be the same on uh, Lightroom mobile as well. Sorry, Lightroom on the phone as well. Let's just choose an image. I'll go for this one just here. So I'll go to that share icon in the top right-hand corner. Again, I'll click on share your edit process. We've done post to community. Here's another great way of sharing what you've done, but in a way that uh, is great for sharing on social media, places like um, I don't know Instagram, Facebook, or whatever. So I'll click on create edit replay. Now, when I click on that, you're going to start to see this kind of spinning icon down at the bottom just here, going around this progress bar, and it says, working on your replay, hang tight tag at Lightroom for a chance to get featured. It only takes a few seconds to do that. Wait for that to come all the way around. And any second now that's going to be done, which it is. And then once it's done that, I'm going to tap on save video. So that now has saved that into the camera roll on my tablet device or on my phone. So now look, when I tap on it, here it is. And look, this is what it does. It will automatically play through. Look at this, look, animated edit showing what each step was that was done to that particular image. Now, when I share these on Instagram, I do find that these do run through quite quickly. So I'll tend to slow them down to like 75% of their original speed, add some music to it, and there you go. But it's just a great thing to be able to share on social media, a nice bit of content to add in there as well. But it's a great way of sharing what you're doing, helping other people. And like I said, why not? You know, I mean, I've always found that the more I share over the years, the more I seem to have learned anyway. So for me, I just think it's a win-win. I just think it's a really nice thing to do. But it is a great way to learn Lightroom. What a great way to be able to look at other people's work. They think, how have they done that? And then you could actually look at the steps, what they've done, whatever. And like I say, some people will choose to allow you to save it as a preset. You don't have to. Uh, you can also not include the location information. But yeah, really, really cool stuff. So thought I'd share that because not a lot of people seem to be aware of it, or there's certainly a lot of people that aren't aware of it. 
Great thing to do. Uh, give it a try. I'll, uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I've got for this video. I'll see you in the next one.